वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल ग्रुप ड्रॉइड सो टूडे इज एटीन ऑफ फेब्रुवरी आई लाइक टू कीप अट ट्रैक ऑफ द डेट ऑफ ऑल द प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड यूजली आई कीप वर्किंग ऑन सो इन टूडे इज वीडियो वी विल वी विल डिस्कस द बिल्ड ऑफ अ फाइव इंच ड्रोन अ वेरी अनकन्वेंशनल एज यू कैन सी इज द बैग बिहाइंड मी वी हैव दिस फाइव इंच फ्रेम टू फिफ्टी क्लास फ्रेम and the other accessories behind this the propeller battery so looks pretty simple but uh the project that we are working on here is to actually build a 5 inch drone which is not a fpv drone which is not an fpv drone so it is a drone uh which you can call it for hobbies like me uh this primary objective is to build a drone and fly it by any means most importantly uh, the purpose of this build is to actually be able to develop a 5 inch drone 5 inch drone uh, at the lowest possible cost so i will take that in detail so that is the entire that is the primary objective of this uh, video and the drone build okay so let's go on ahead so these are all the parts that you can see uh almost all the parts i have this frame here uh, this is a carbon fiber frame uh it's called a q250 frame so uh, it's pretty good actually the weight is uh just 160 grams along with this a power distribution board so you can imagine it's quite light right now one of the motor is uh, bolted already i'll come to that there is a frame uh, i'll be using my radio receiver the receiver for which uh, this is the receiver i have been using in my previous drone ah i got the old drone so this is the uh, the first drone on my previous build uh the 450 class drone it's quite big actually you can see mm so this was a drone which i had worked on coding the flight controller using an arduino board and we will be using the same flight controller in this new drone so the purpose of this uh, build was like i mentioned we need to build a 5 inch low cost low cost drone okay so uh you can see that uh this 450 class drone they used this uh, 2212 motor right now i'm using a 2212 motor 13000 kb motor uh these are very cheap these are in fact the cheapest uh in the market so that is what i am doing here i am trying to use these motors to build a 5 inch drone okay let me remove this so this was the original drone i have removed the flight controller so uh here you can see the flight controller which i have been using in the previous drone that i just showed so this is the mpu 6050 the arduino nano and that is it that is all in this flight controller so we had other accessories like the gps the ultrasonic sensor in the uh, larger drone but we will not be using any of those so here our primary our only objective is to get the drone flying in a stable manner so we will use the same flight controller probably place it somewhere under the drone in its location using some soft foam okay uh, and then the radio receiver receiver this is a battery which i have i actually heavily damaged i'll see if i can get something out of this the other battery that i have in the bigger drone is quite large the weight will be very high and i'll use a uh, foam i have this foam which is very soft okay I'll just see if I can get it working. And then the important part. Uh, before that, I would like to show you the propellers. So these are the four propellers. Uh, these are six zero four five six inch tri blade propellers with four four point five inch each. So uh, here you can see the four propellers, uh, and then these are standard for a five inch. Don't usually people will go ahead with a five inch propellers, but I have used six inch prop because of the motor configuration that we are going to go ahead. 
like I said, I'll be using this standard 2212 motor. Right now it's 1000 kV, but I think I will uh, I will try this in 1000 kV, but I am not sure if this is going to work. I'll go up to probably 1800 kV or 2400 kV, depending on how the current consumption is and the thrust. So I'm using this because this is what will make the drone cheap. This and the ESCs. These are the standard, very easily available 30 MPL Simong ESC. They are very outdated. But then again, we just need to fly the drone. Okay. So this cost, I can, can check out the cost in the link below in this video. This cost around 400 to 500. Similarly, this cost 400 to 500. So each pair will cost me 1000. Each pair cost me 1000. That way, the ESC, 4 ESCs, 4 motors will cost me 4000 rupees. Now, uh, just to make things clear, so if you go ahead with this uh, standard motors that we use in this 5 inch drones, they are the 2205 or 2204 class motors. So around 2400 kilo volt. They cost somewhere between 700 to 1000. If I go ahead for a better motors, they will cost much more. But then again, these motors are actually uh, very high performance motors uh, required for FPV, FPV related drones. So the cost will actually go up exponentially because the ESCs that I'm using here are standard. They're heavy actually. Both these are very heavy. This is around uh, 57 grams. This is around uh, 30 grams. So 80 to 90 grams. But in contrast to this, if you go ahead with the standard ESC that we use on a 5 inch, like the BL Heli in, in uh, smaller ESCs, you can check out the links. They are quite light. So this will make a changes. So the ESC that uh, that we use on a standard 5 inch will cost me, I think, 700. Then so the cost of a pair of motor instead of this instead of this pair, if I go ahead with the 2205 and the BS Heli smaller ESCs will cost me 2000 to 1800, which is almost double. So that is where my uh, entire project is uh, centered about. So getting somehow getting these motors to work on this 5 inch drone. So I have checked many videos. I can check out the links regarding the thrust with the combination of this, the combination of this and this. Actually, I have seen some videos. People have done tests. I haven't done them myself. You can check out the links on the video again. So, not with this exactly 1000 kV motor, but uh, with the 1800 kV motor and 24 kV, 2400 kV motors, people have actually reached 850 grams of thrust with this combination. So, overall, uh, if I go ahead with this combination uh, with the prop, 5 a 6 inch prop, and this 2212 motor, uh, 850 grams actually corresponds to somewhere near 20 and 20 amperes of current drawn by the motor. Or I won't record that much because my weight of the drone, the entire assembly, I'll show you that in a while, is around 700 grams. So all I need to do is generate uh, some 1500 grams or 1.5 kg of thrust just to fly stably. No aggressive flying. So that's it. So 500 gram thrust if I can generate out of this, that's more than sufficient for my drone. I have the kitchen weighing scale here. We will start this with the uh, weight of the drone. We will calculate how much drone will weigh. The entire assembly. So, like I told you, uh, this frame weighs somewhere around 160 grams. So, it's showing me 165 grams right now but the motor is mount one of the motor is mount on this so this weighs around uh, I'll show you that also. the motor weighs 54 grams okay so this motor weighs 54 grams so i'll place all the four motors
and batteries uh, capacity 22 2200 million per hour probably i'll go with a lighter battery but uh, this is all that i have right now this week for a few years yeah. ah, 687 weight of the entire assembly so like i said this will be 700 grams which i'm soldering and giving other We will come down to 700 grams of the 5 inch drone, which is actually heavier for a standard 5 inch drone. 